Good morning, guys. Hey, it's a lovely day outside today, and we're going to have a fun little episode about growing corn. It's fantastic for grandparents, parents, kids to all get involved. It's super cheap to do, and grows really fast, and it's lots of fun to get going on. G'day, guys. Hey, my name's Paul Granbear from Big Greener Farms, and we're going to grow corn from kernels from the cob through to seedlings, through to the crops, so you can pick lovely corn and enjoy it with your family. So what options have we got for growing kernels? Well, you could go to the shop and you could buy a packet of corn kernels. This is for sweet corn. It holds about 10 or 15 kernels, so you get about 10 or 15 corn plants growing from that. It costs about $5 Australian. Or at the end of this video, we'll show you how we harvest our own corn kernels. And we get lots and lots of corn kernels, so we get lots and lots of corn growing. Okay, so now when it comes to planting, we've got our tray of seed raising mix. There's a link to the video um, either just up above or in the description below on how we make seed raising mix. Super easy to do and super cheap, which is everything that we love. Um, we've got our corn kernels. Now you can be, buy this out of the, the packet if you like. Uh, these are the ones that we've made. Remember at the end of the video, we'll show you how we can harvest our own corn kernels uh, for planting. And what we want to do is we want to grab probably two kernels per cell that we've got here. And we just grab them, chuck them in like this. Kids love doing this sort of work, so get your kids involved. Um, and I won't do the whole tray, we'll just do a few of them here just so that you get the idea. I just use a pencil, normal old pencil, and I'll just poke those down into the seed raising mix. Just until you can't see the cob or the corn kernel anymore and we just cover those back up um, just with the seed raising mix. Now once you've done that, just give them a quick spray with some water um, and you wanna keep this moist um, until this, the shoots start coming through um, and even though, um, continue that for the next few more weeks um, until you get the lovely uh, corn growing to about that stage. Okay, so now that we've planted all of our corn kernels in our seed raising mix, and you can find the video attached in the description or the link above on how we make seed raising mix, it's super easy to do. We have our corn in our seed raising mix. All we need to do is every morning just come along with a hand sprayer and just give it a light misting like this. Keep the soil nice and moist, and after a couple of days you'll start seeing corn shoots or corn stalks starting to grow and coming through the seed raising mix. It grows really fast from there on. And what we'll end up with is a tray of corn that looks a lot like this. Now this is ready to plant out in our garden bed, so let's head down and do that now. Hey, at last we're outdoors. We're here in our corn patch or corn field, and I wanted to talk to you about how we plant out the corn, how closely we space it together, but also how to look after it as well so that we can get some nice, juicy, yummy corn. Now, first of all, planting out the corn. We space them about, I don't know, 10 inches, 20 centimeters apart. And the reason why we do this is because the flowers that form on the top pollinate the silks that are on the corn cobs later on. Now, these cross pollinate, so it's important to have all the corn closely spaced together so that they can pollinate each other. Now, also, Corn tends to fall over in the wind, so when we put it all together, it kind of supports itself. So that's important to do. Now, speaking of corn silks and cobs and things like that, one thing that as parents or as adults we need to be careful of is earworms, corn earworms. Now, what they do, they eat the corn cobs from inside the silks. They kind of hatch on the silks and then they go inside the corn cobs themselves and they just destroy the corn. Now, what you want to do is use products. Um, in America, there's this uh, Montre BT, I think. We'll put some links in the bottom of the YouTube video in the description. Um, that's not available in Australia, but there is this product that I found. Now, I'm gonna put the key ingredient. Um, it's just listed on here. I'm not going to say it because it's a scientific name and I can't say that. So I'm gonna just show you a close up of what it's called so that you can find in your local area. But we will put some descriptions and some links below so that you can find it, the products that we found as well. So um, important, um, plant this out, give it a water every now and then when it's dry. Um, if it's a rainy sort of day, then don't worry about it. And after a while, you'll start seeing these, um, just out from the side of the, the stalk, you'll start seeing it kind of branches off. 
that's actually the corn cob developing or the ear developing. Uh, so exciting times. These pretty much look after themselves, but come down every now and then, have a look and see if you can see your first corn growing. Whoa, did you see the size of the corn that's growing? In a few more weeks, it's gonna start maturing and it'll start getting corn ears that are growing. Who calls it corn ears? But it's actually the corn cobs growing out of there and these will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you'll know when the corn's ready, when these silts, they call these silts on the end of the corn cobs, when they start browning off just a little bit and you can open them up and just have a little bit of a look inside to see the kernels, see whether they're ready or not. And I almost forgot the second most important thing. Make sure you tick the like button and the bell icon and subscribe to this video. It really does help us out to create more awesome videos like this one. Now I did say I would tell you one last thing right at the end of the video on how you can get lots and lots of corn kernels so you can plant lots and lots of corn. Well, what you do is you go to the shop. This is a corn kernel that we harvested from our previous stock but you can just go to the supermarket and buy just one corn kernel. And what you do is you just leave that on the table for a couple of weeks, it'll start drying out. Doesn't need to be this dry, but if you open it up a little bit, you'll start seeing the corn kernels inside, they'll start shriveling up a little bit. Now what you wanna do is these should just break away nice and easily just by pressing on it with your thumb. Now when you do, these are ready to go you can plant them straight away. We just harvest the whole cob. We probably got hundreds of kernels from this and we just keep it in a container in the fridge and we can plant multiple crops of corn using this. So there you go. That's how easy it is to grow corn. It's awesome fun for the family to get involved with. Please make sure you subscribe, tick the bell icon. You know the drill, go out there, grab some corn kernels, however you can get them in a seed or make your own plant them out, grow it, super easy, super fun. You get out there and you have a great day. See ya.